Hi, if you got a new set of uh, tracking gauges, I is uh, fully disassembled. Uh, all what you need is some tools, because before before we will assemble that, we need to calibrate it. Now I show you how to calibrate in just very quick. We need a mirror, something straight line. The mirror here, I just stick double uh, tape. Now, uh, we need to get a measurement, so we have a ruler. That lines, line over there, for example, it can be any table. Uh, we got exact same measurement, at the moment is uh, 29 inches. So, here. Twenty nine. One more check. So we go. <clears throat> so here we have two plugs. Just unplug it. Push the button, turn on, so I've got a touch here and the line is go up to the mirror, uh, stop still, okay. so the allen key will fit exact into the fitment over there and then we have to find the position the mirror is reflect the mirror is reflect right here now so we have to move it to zero just turn have it the zero position now calibrate it so how to calibrate a rear the rear we can do this way. I just simply <coughs> put the ruler there. We can see a second second line there and then move up there. So we have to do a little bit out. Now uh, we'll insert the Allen key into the hole okay and move it a little bit out all right now is the exact well it's done calibration is done so we can put back cups after that uh, this little part is going there and that one. So first of all put that way on exactly the center. Slide thing and then put the stop. Here we have adjustment as well. Uh, when you slide in and you see it's very hard to move, just screw out a little bit. Now it's much more easy. 
so that part is flag is done. Then we have to assemble the main unit. Simply put there. We have a square bar there, so on the center of the square bar, and slide in. The main unit. Right. Too much. Then we have a little hole here. The little hole is right there on the end of the bar. You have a pin like that in the back. Just put in That we need a little hammer. That's it. Probably on the middle position. These pins prevent fall down. That's it. Three. Also, if you haven't any level measurement on your unit, you can see in the back, same one which I have in my hand. It's where you will stick on, it's up to you. One place is for that, it's right here. That will help you. Another place is over there. That will work as well. Each of caliper have a 2A battery inside. So probably maybe six month time need to be replaced. It. Simply screw off all screws. This can take in about maybe five minutes altogether. C2A batteries inside. Just take off old one and then same direction fit new. Put everything back and just simply screen.